eliminate, I add, I change colors and whatever, and some of them you would not even recognize from the photo. Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking for, I'm not looking for an exact, I'm looking to get the feel that I had when I was at that place. I'm looking at, to get the feel when I was in Newfoundland of the wind, of the, of the loneliness of it, of the desolation, mm -hmm. and in Italy of the colors of the things like that. So I spend, I try to get that stuff out of not so much the, um, the actual picture of it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I um, use the photograph for the purpose of composition. I often add or subtract and move around components. I want the sensations, the smells, the feel of the wind rather than what it may actually look like. Um, I pick and choose elements and colors in the painting of how they fit into my sensory experience of the subject I'm painting. And I'm interested in figurative, but not necessarily realistic paintings. Um, when I was pregnant at 39, this has to do my, with my inner, inner landscape, my inner <laughs> landscape, I ended up doing a bunch of pre um, pregnancy related. Um, Hi, Peter. <laughs> pregnancy related paintings. Um, which I have some copies. I just, there are some pictures of old paintings in there, and there are some of the pregnancy stuff in there too. Um, and considering the political landscape of the world, I have also begun a series on refugees, immigrants, war, and the um, tolls of separation. While not entirely abstract, they are also not realistic. I, I personally do not like didactic political art. I think there's a place for it. But I'm not interested, I'm much more interested in subtle but powerful executions of things that are going on. So while these, um, so the paintings, my paintings that I do like to add, while not necessarily, uh, while somewhat figurative, they're not really realistic. And I have to add that. Hi, Pat. <laughs> I, have to, <laughs> I have to add that part of the reason they're not really, totally realistic too is because I'm not that good of a drawer. I mean, I do so like, okay. I do. Um, Throughout this, these, this, these years, I've been interested in exploring what is beyond the rational world, the worlds that exist between us and worlds of the dead hiding amongst the living. And this is when colors we can't imagine, sounds we cannot hear. In my paintings and assemblages, when I've looked back over the years, I see this theme intermittently between the landscapes, intermittently between the portraits, intermittently mm -hmm. the same thing, and the same symbols keep on coming up. Mm -hmm. So, um, as, so most recently, I have been doing the circus series, which is very related to that. Um, you'll see in both of my paintings and my assemblages, mm -hmm. there are certain um, images you'll, you'll, you'll see over and over. Cards, dice, keys, you'll see them in various paintings, um, and puppets, clocks. Um, Basically, I feel like um, you know, we all think we're, we're, we run our lives, but big part of me just feels like you are, you are thrown out a card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can choose what to do with that card, mm -hmm. but you are thrown out a card. And um, I tend to be so much of a pessimist, and my friends, thank goodness, are all optimists and all have hope. <laughs> <laughs> I try to live like I have hope, because otherwise you just can't do anything. But um, basically, I, I am hopeless. <laughs> and, um, the circus series consists of some of the, my latest paintings, but I'm going to show you a painting I did 30 years ago, which I completely forgot about. It's been in a drawer, um, and I realized how this theme, these, these same kinds of themes have been going on. I'm just going to move this over here. so you can see it. Those good yeah. 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 <laughs> So I call this deck of cards Sex, Power, and Chant. And, and Sex, Power, and Chant. Yeah, I know. I think that chance is wrong. But anyways. Um, this piece. I think I worked on this when I was just pregnant or before or after, but it was the early stages of the Cornwall Gallery. And um, I spent, it's half for me to imagine, as you get older, you know, I at least am not 
as deep as I used to be. <laughs> I'm, much more, I'm much more shallow. I can't think that deeply. But I spent hours with this, these concepts. What is the Queen of Diamonds? What is the Jack of Clubs? What is the Jack of Spades? I mean, I just, it was like in my head the whole time. Some I wasn't really sure of, but some were just, what? Now, can I tell you now what my thoughts were? I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> so you remember that? I remember those things. But, um. So um, the way I usually start both my paintings and my assemblages, I can start it oftentimes with an idea. And from that idea, I might draw something. And then um, from that drawing, they'll make me go into more of the idea and how I want to emphasize it. I go back and forth because the painting determines oftentimes what my next step is going to be. I don't have a whole thing set beforehand, generally, almost always. Um, sometimes I start with an idea, like I said. Or sometimes I'll be, be, I, have, I have a whole thing of here of my doodles, because oftentimes, if I don't have it now, I'll start with a doodle or a photograph I've taken. And then from the doodle, I'll just start adding shapes and color. And then I go back, go back to that. I get an idea from it, and then I go back to that, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Um, and then my assemblages, I really pretty much work the same, same way. Um, sometimes this, I don't know, yeah, there's one there that I would say is the, the third one down. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it, I just have a box. And the box is telling me what it's going to be. I just know that's what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let me see. I sometimes sketch out my ideas, but I really sketch out the entire composition. Um, I've used a variety of uh, materials. I started with oils um, and then went to um, encaustics. And, well, then I went to acrylics, and then I went to encaustics, which can only be the next with oils that really is not supposed to be mixed with the, with the acrylics. Um, and I've done some collage and I've used a lot of found objects in my studio. A third of this is filled with so much junk <laughs> as I know other people can relate to. Yeah. And I try very hard not to pick up things I see in the ground. Like, gee, I know this. this is right. <laughs> okay. I know I can use this for something. <laughs> um, presently, and I'm just starting to work with um, the cold wax, which I kind of stopped working. I went back to oils, and now I'm working with cold wax. And cold wax you mix, can mix with oils. Mm -hmm. And um, the only paintings I have here using cold wax is um, I just started as these two, which I did in my art oh. girl retreat. Um, and I have a nut painting at home, but that, that's really it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, anyway, so I started this, this, this is, my, a number of these paintings are from what I call my circus series. And it is a circus of, that makes no sense. It's a circus of the grotesque in many ways, and yet you draw into it. The colors are pretty, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is so this is this is I made them all. This is like the oddities. This is the jugglers. That's somebody who's reviving the dead. Um, that's a, 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 a thing of good, good and evil, and I'll explain to you why that is. And that's the balancers over there, up there, and we have the fun house, and we have the um, acrobats down here, and you can see there. They're, it's, it's fun to look at it, but you can see they're grotesque. Mm -hmm. You have somebody with three heads, you have a guy who's giving himself a blowjob, while he's upside down. And then I this also I have a bunch of things about time and I just have I think one or two paint things like that. These here, well, this is also um, for the, about the circuses, and this is the conjurer. She's conjuring this up. But the rest, these other three, and I have a whole series of them, are um, based on being in cemeteries mm -hmm. and just feeling like I'm like the most unspiritual um, person in the world. But on the other hand, I believe there's a whole world out there that we cannot see and cannot hear and that we know nothing about. 
And when I'm at the cemetery, of course, I think it's not uncommon to feel as at a cemetery. Mm -hmm. So I, I was at the um, Forest Hill Cemetery. And um, so you, this is a good I think where I've taken pictures, but as you can see, they look nothing like my pictures, mm -hmm. you know. And the one good thing that I've learned is I usually start, often start making it look like the picture. And if it really is coming out well, I might keep it that way. But if it's not, I just let it go and I play with it. And those are, I think, are my best paintings, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, I've learned from um, my favorite teacher, Terry, is that I can't keep something, even if I like it, but I have to go like this. <laughs> Get rid of it, because if it doesn't go with what I want, it's, oh, the idea of the rest of the painting, even though it might be the best little spot. And I, for years, I couldn't do that. I would just keep these yeah. things in no matter what. And now I just go over them. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> so I, I do have, I don't know if anybody wants to hear it, I do have a, one poem. Yeah. 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 I wasn't going yes. to do any poems, but, uh, but Terry, this isn't really a poem, and a couple of you have heard this, I'm afraid, because my people who are high with have heard, have heard this. But I think the reason I'm doing it is it goes, goes with this poem, with this, with this, um, Which one? this one here. You can't, you can't see it so from last? here. It's very hard to see it, but the middle figure is holding an apple in one hand and a glass of wine in the other hand. Okay? And that's the image I've used in other paintings, too. So I'm calling this... Can you give me a water or something? Yeah. 